Hey guys, so another day, another hike here. So it's been raining the last few days and finally we have uh, really sunny days like today. I think we're around 19 from now. I mean, it feels like 19. And we decided to go on another hike. We're also, again, over Summit Terrace. There's a lot of hiking you can do up here. And we're starting, uh, we're actually also doing this with uh, Jolene and Darren. They've been hiking all over the place. They're real, they're real almost like professional hikers, I think. But uh, yeah, we're jo they asked us to join them. So we're uh, just starting here in a place called Jinjeda. And we're just going to continue up. Hopefully, uh, I think we're going to hit some areas we've never hiked before, which is always interesting. I uh, hope you enjoy. And this video is going to be basically about this hike. And if you like hiking, the nature, uh, and, uh, you know, places like, uh, you know, the, the volcanic kind of uh, origin... Uh, especially places like the Azores or Hawaii. This is this is pretty much the kind of hiking you can find in these type of destinations. So come along with us and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, nothing beats a good hike. You know, we'll have some uphill. Most of it's kind of very low intensity. Oh, sun. Thank God the shade when you want it, but there's still some oranges on the trees. Some nishpras here, kumquats, I think they're called. Beautiful. And the ocean right down there. Sort of hazy today. How you guys doing? You guys tired yet? Are you guys tired yet? I know, it's only 10, 10 minutes, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> it's loud, this cow. Oh, look, cutie. Hey, cutie. You make a lot of noise for a small cow, eh? Oh yeah? Okay. Where's... Echo. <laughs> it's a nice color. It's kind of a different color. Hey? What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at this visit. Huh? Look at this visit. This is like a condo for cows, eh? For They can sleep in here. Nice. Got water. That's a beautiful cow. Wow. Wow, these are uh, bigger rocks. Not like the ones they have them on the coast. The boulders. And this is a, I like these plants. When they're in bloom, they're beautiful orange looking. The name in Portuguese is something roca, if I'm not mistaken. But these are huge boulders. Wow, kind of lined up these uh, fields up here. Purple skies. Keep climbing, keep climbing. There's a vine here. Actually, there's grapes, right? Isn't it? I think it's grapes, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's some pine. Yeah, a lot of different varieties of trees throughout the Azores. Fruit trees, all types.
just keep going up and up and up. We're gonna stop soon for some water, some fruit. Hey guys, so the cool thing about hiking, I believe, in these, these islands, the Azores, any of the islands, just to hike up. There's obviously the regular hikes that the government puts together, but you could also do your own, like we're doing right now. We're basically just doing, doing our own thing um, at our own pace. Uh, obviously, there's some incline. You can kind of figure it out, but you can just rest as you go. And I think overall it's like level three, I would probably put it. Sometimes you're level two, sometimes you're three, maybe a little bit less. You know, if you're in fairly half decent shape, you can do these. Just get out there, and even if you just do some walking around the, the coast, or you decide to drive up to a spot and park the car a little above the village like we are, because, I mean, we're pretty high up here. So, I don't know, I'm going to guess maybe 500 meters above sea level, something like that. And if we keep going this way, you eventually, I think, you get to the mountain uh, welcoming center where you start climbing to get to the top of Pico. But we're just going to go halfway, probably sit for a bit and have some water, enjoy some fruit, proteins, boiled eggs, that kind of thing. And we're just approaching a clearance where we're going to just stop. Uh, I think we could see Fayal from here if it wasn't hazy, but yeah, you can't really see the ocean right now. There's a haze around the island. Pico has over 100 volcanoes, uh, for those who don't know. And it's just amazing how some, I mean, this looks like a, could be one, I'm not sure, but it's cut. And on one side, it's green, beautiful green. Can you imagine putting a par three up there, sand trap, anyways. And then you have a forest on the whole other side. It probably gave, it had a bit of a landslide and created that. But for the, look, uh, it's too bad you can't see the ocean. It's all hazy. It's, you'd have the, the beautiful. This is what life's all about, guys. From these roads, you can hike to any side of the island. The highlands where the lakes are, you can cut over. Madalena. So here's that hill I just filmed from back there. And on the other side, it was... Uh, yeah, look at it. That's where the forest is. A nice cow there. Saying hello to us. So we arrived here at a crossroads. We either continue on or head down. And just a little ways back, we got uh, there was some uh, a road that would take us to the upper main road of the island where the lakes are and the Sierra they call it. Look at this. Longitudinal. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, obviously, the only thing that could have been better is if Pico was uncovered. And Pico, it's basically, oops, right up there. And those clouds are, if they weren't there, you'd see the big mountain of Pico just rise up there. Just to give you a little bit of perspective. I like these water pools. I'm doing most of the narrating. Laura's just uh, down the road here with uh, Jolene and Darren. She does a lot of work with the editing as well. But she's going to be saying a few things. I think she's enjoying the walk. We keep saying that we got to do more hiking, and we are. The wood forest on Pico is Cryptomeria, it's called. I think it's 80%, I heard. Beautiful wood. 
Looks like this was just born, maybe today. Wow, brand new one. How cute. Hey, mama. Nice color. Well, look at this bull. Isn't he gorgeous? Go close up. We're probably showing you a lot of cows, but <laughs> every time we go around the corner, they're just fascinating. We have our first injury. First injury. Laura has a blister on her foot. You're right. going to be all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, first aid. Always be prepared. All right, looks like peak was clearing. There it is, but it's very hazy. Aside from the cloud, it's very hazy. It's like a veil. But it's there. In case you guys didn't think we're telling the truth, there it is. It's hard not to see Pico when the clouds are away. You can see it pretty much anywhere on the island. And uh, so we're heading sort of back to San Mateo, through the secondary road and uh, the dirt road. I think it would be perfect for an APV on here. All right, so I think we lost them, or I lost them. I'm not sure if they went down this road or this road. Let's go down this road and see. That would have been it. I think it's, uh, we got to keep turning left. So this is what we were told. So I think this is probably the right way. Uh, to keep us almost direct getting into the little village where we parked the car, Jinjeda, which is part of San Mateo. And uh, yeah, picked up uh, some tangerines along the way. Uh, we could have them at the end as a reward. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this nice little hike here. Uh, make it over to the island again, don't hesitate. And from what I can see, Pico is, for even from here, it's still clear, thank God. Maybe by the end of the evening, this the haze will lift and we'll be able to see it now, even clearer. Found him. Save me a little bit of rest. They waited for me. That I lost you guys. I, I, I was actually going down. I was going to go down. I said, no. And I yelled, hey, nobody answered. I'm like, shit. So I took a chance. Now I found you guys. That's good. We're going up a very steep hill. We've been managing so far, but I think this is the steepest we've been up. So give us strength. See how steep that is? Darren was smart and he picked up a walking stick. But we'll make it. We'll make it to the top. Oh, we just came upon a, a couple of dogs. Actually, it was a little scary because he jumped on the fence and we weren't sure if he was actually chained up. So that's one thing. Oh, look, skeleton of a cow. Sometimes you walk past dogs that are chained up and uh, it can be a little bit scary, but all is good. All right, so another decision. Now, obviously, we're not going to go back up because that'll take us to the higher road that we already came on. Now we're going to head down. This is Campurazu. Okay, which is another village uh, between Madalena and San Mateo. And we're going to go down to a road and go left, and eventually we'll get over to Jinjeda. Uh, now we're going to be seeing some s smaller villages, aldeas they call them. But we're going to be starting to see more of the uh, older houses here. And this, these, these were, are being revived, which is great to see. 
Uh, I mean, uh, it takes expats coming to live here, uh, even if it's half a year, or immigrants that come back during the summer to revive these, or otherwise they, they continue being ruins. Take a look at this fig trees. Sometimes these really get long. This one's actually coming out into the street. Look how long it is. Must be very old. I see some leaves on it. Amazing. It's the way they dry the corn. I remember my grandfather doing this and taking it over to the windmill to get some flour. Amazing. Yeah. Trying to make it back. So we're obviously going through roads we've never, I've never been on. So it's just, uh, we never know how long. I thought it was probably going to take longer than we thought, but that's the beauty of it, you know, just uh, going through the little villages. Obviously a lot of cows. You're going to see a lot of cows on this video because there's, I don't think I've ever seen this many cows in one day. But a lot of uh, baby cows being born. Notice a lot of people growing their own vegetables here potatoes, fava beans, citrus, yams, sweet potato you name it. Hey guys! some ruins here there was a lot of these and just we just passed them that had been renovated another rentals hopefully the same will happen with these these were once like these old ruins I mean this whole hike when it's all said and done probably about five hours which is uh, when it goes by pretty quick it doesn't really seem that that long but we left at about 1.30, right now it's 20 to 6. Yeah, so see these are all ruins, no, they're rentals. You see the, this, all of these. So this is what it's all about. You gotta bring them back to life. Oh, look at these bananas. Delicious. Keep reviving these, keep reviving them. Doesn't matter who revives them, expats, immigrants, locals, just keep doing it. I would say we're about 15 minutes away, yeah! there. It's been a great hike guys. So yeah. we come to the end of the road. We finally made it. That yep. was actually a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Honestly we started at 1.30 and we ending it at 6.10 uh, back to the car. We did half of the hike we've never done. Yeah. Even when I used to come here years ago by myself at times did a lot of hiking never did this uh, route here which uh, is unbelievable and there was still more to be discovered we'll have to leave it for another time but we just hope you enjoyed hanging out with us and uh, getting to see that these hikes here could be for anybody really I mean there's some steep hills yeah there are some steep yeah. hills so <laughs> but you could stay away from them right but yeah. uh, we just kept kept going we didn't really know uh, 
uh, exactly you know we kind of we asked a few people along the way so but this is the, this is the beauty of the Azores uh, is um, the nature around uh, it's not all about around the ocean but higher up don't be afraid you can, yeah. some of these roads you can drive on it as well it doesn't mean you have to, to hike or walk it you can drive it and it's great when you're hiking and you're going around a corner there's just something new to discover yeah so obviously you saw a lot of cows a few sheep some goats it's just I've never seen so many cows in one day like I mentioned earlier and, and a uh, lot of babies yeah and we were uh, yeah it was great that uh, Jolene and uh, Darren actually asked us to join them in a They've been hiking all the time. They do it often, so yeah. I have a feeling we're going to be feeling this tomorrow. Yeah, we're definitely going to be feeling it. I'm feeling it right yeah, now. We haven't done are, a hike like that in a long time. No, but anyways, thanks for hanging out and coming with us. And yeah, uh, thanks, guys. See you on the next video. Yeah, see you next week. <laughs>